there was one question I remember that what do we do uh, when we are working professional life? We don't have time to develop intuition. I would say it's a huge advantage. Rather, I would say it is unfair advantage because you can see things. There are three steps that I would say which are very useful, which I find useful as well. <laughs> Use complex situations, but start from simple. And secondly, which you would have been already doing, which is learn from real world projects. And there's a third step, which is absolutely crucial and which I really find very useful. And that step is Yeah, the next question is how to develop and uh, better our intuition over the time as a professional practitioner. This is really very important. There was one question I remember that what do we do uh, when we are working professional life? We don't have time to develop intuition. We're just working, working and working. And being an experienced professional, I would say it's a huge advantage. Rather, I would say it is unfair advantage that you have because you can see things. You can see things in real life. You can visit sites. You can. You would have lots of experience to to develop that. And even if you don't have experience, we should always question our beliefs, our systems, our mind. Are we doing the things in the right way? And we should be adaptable. We should. We should change for better. There are three steps that I would say which are very useful, which I find useful as well. <laughs> Use complex situations, but start from simple. Change loads, change boundary conditions, have different loads, have different orientations, have different materials and see. Use different new materials, use fiber reinforced polymer and see what happens what is the buckling pattern and secondly which you would have been already doing which is learn from real world projects because you have that competitive advantage that you are in the industry when you are in when you are in the industry you can capitalize on your learning and it's a big learning opportunity and there's a third step which is absolutely crucial and which I really find very useful. And that step is to teach. When you teach people, I promise you, you will understand the things more than 100% to teach. When I'm teaching, it's not a teaching, it's a session, it's a friendly session. So when you're preparing for something, then you really have to prepare. You really have to be clarifying the things to the core. You really have to be understanding. So teaching is the best way to learning, I would say. And then I have a question for you here. If you are a professional, I want others to share their experience. If you are structural engineering professional or engineering professional, how do you improve your intuition? What steps do you take to improve it? Because as human beings, we want challenges. We want new things. We want to improve. I want to be, I don't want to be the same person which I am now. Next year, I want to be a different person. What, what is your view on this, Bhavan? I, I had a very uh, interesting experience when I just started my career. So my mentor was 70 years old at that All time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and he was, uh, he, uh, he was preparing uh, entire calculations using uh, uh, manual calculations. So uh, 
he was not having any competency with reference to software everything was being designed by manual and so many uh, handbooks were developed uh, so many charts were developed uh, and based on that uh, manual calculations were done and as i joined as a new uh, new engineer and of course i i was having hands on experience on the software so uh, at the start of my career uh, we had number of interactions where he said uh, you teach me software i'll teach you conceptual thinking <laughs> and and after <laughs> and after office hours we were uh, taking simple to complex problem as a as a research opportunity we were analyzing even a simply supported beam fixed beam uh, using fem uh, uh, then let's say even non linear analysis so that's what uh, we were experimenting but that really uh, enhanced our intuition process to a great extent uh, and it really helped me uh, in, in progression of my career absolutely i i, I totally agree with you i think as engineers we are human beings as well so we should try to learn from each other rather than judging each other for example if i don't know anything that's absolutely fine i can learn from you and if you don't know anything you can learn from me as well so as a human being we can't be perfect in everything right few answers are coming <laughs> study earlier performed good designs and drawings okay yeah. so as a earlier database which is available in the company okay what is said by jimmy uh, professor the last time you taught me classes i didn't ask you this question uh, it's the following how do i achieve st uh, structurability simplicity when designing a project uh, such as in classes that were visualized uh, in a very clear and simple way to understand thank you yes i i think this is this is a very very important uh, thing and i think we should simplify our minds we should start with simple things and we should be in industry you have colleagues who can help you ask your colleagues and ask other experts most of people are able to help but don't ask them very difficult questions initially just ask questions which you think they are very simple so then then progress to <laughs> to to difficult questions and see books have case studies this is something i have struggled with myself as well because students they ask me that show us real life building that has been built we want to design the same building and the challenge here in developed countries is that companies they would not share their data how it was analyzed so for example if i want to design gherkin gherkin will not the developers or consultants they will not share a uh, design so uh, it's very difficult to obtain that data in in reality but again there is no simple answer to that it is something which i will try to find as well so there is no simple answer to this question how to simplify it and i would say that develop a mindset that divide a complex structure into small components and try to see it and visualize it and in these days 3d software are available bim software are available which you can use to visualize the structure and see potential failures or potential issues thanks right okay rahul is saying in one interesting thing that he goes with the theory of uh, treat the force as water uh, this way i can see <laughs> how it will flow naturally and uh, this helped me uh, a lot in developing the structural intuition rahul you have given me a really important point to say in my lectures do i have your permission to use it <laughs> and put it in comments <laughs> because we can't steal other people's word words <laughs> this is something i have never thought about actually <laughs> thanks for that <laughs> okay one more point i uh, improve intuition by using different alternatives or approaches uh, to both structure design and uh, construction works my intuition developed slowly over 20 years uh, was fortunate that all all the tough projects which uh, no one did <laughs> came to our company uh, so I, i had to read books consult with peers professors okay uh, you can prepare to ai era by using it i guess the best way is this 
Okay, Ram Dhan Mustafa. For me, I'm always modeling by hand uh, before any software calculations. All right. Yeah. Okay, Abhishek saying that uh, as you get older, you tend to be conservative in the design. You start deliberately give extra redundancy in the system and eventually call it intuition. Oh, that's a really interesting point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Abhishek.